what I'm going to work on. You want to hang out with me while I work on it? I hope you will. Let's see what we got here. And I've already forgotten what kind of parts and pieces we have. Whew. Okay. That is an empty box now. So we have the two main pieces. We have an instruction sheet, which is yay. And then I have the drills, I have the little uh, side rails, and then all of the little bits and pieces and the little cars. So I think I'm going to start on the side rails because they will probably be pretty quick. And there's only two of them compared to, what, 16 cars? How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen cars, I was right. Times two. Or are there just one? No, I think there's just one. It goes in the middle, so it like flips back and forth. Okay. So luckily, they are already in bags. Which, if you know me, you know that I love the bags. What number do I want to start with? Usually I do numerical, but sometimes I will just pick and choose depending on what I feel like. So let's see, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What? I will start with five because it's purple. Why not? Right? Da, da. Shimmy, 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 shake, shake, shake. Which pin, which pin, which pin? Let's see, let's try this one first. Um, if you don't do this before you start with rhinestones, you might want to get into the habit of it. I always check my drills just by kind of, you can see how I'm just like tilting around the tray. And that just lets me make sure that there aren't any rhinestones that are messed up, like with their backing or something. And then I am using my multi-placer. Hi, baby. Thank you. I just got nose rubs on my toes. Anna doesn't like it when I don't sit on the bed. But I figure this project will definitely be easier to do at the table. And I am not going to make you watch me do all of the placements. But I thought I would get started on them at least. And then I will assemble everything with you. Because I am curious as well as I know you are, to see how challenging this is going to be to put together. And then after this one, I have the uh, windmill and the little Easter decoration that I got just recently. And did I get the pirate ship thing? I can't remember now. My brain, I tell you, between the fibromyalgia and the COVID, whew, forgetfulness is scary. We'll pull into the drive through at McDonald's and I'll ask Emily what she wants to drink. And then before I know it, I'm like, what did you say you want to drink? She's like, mom, really? <laughs> it's like, yeah, really? <laughs> tell me again. <laughs> Oh, it's terrible. Not to mention, I guess it's age too. It has something to do with it. I'm almost 50. Oh, can you believe it? I can't. I definitely don't feel like I should be almost 50. What does that feel like anyway? Does age really have a feeling? Because some days I feel like I'm 100. All right, there is our bottom band. All shiny and shimmery. Look how pretty. So let's see. Let me go ahead and... Oh! Oh no!
Here is the finished arms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out and spray them uh, while so they can be drying while I'm working on the other pieces. So I'll be back in a flash. Okay, here is the main structure piece. I am starting, you see I got some of the drills on there, so I'm starting on that. Stay tuned. This is actually going pretty fast. I'm able to use my multi-placer for a lot of it since it is straight lines. Um, on the curved area, this the dark blue here, I just used my four drill placer. Really, Elsa? She's running around like a maniac. Um, I used my four drill placer on the curve and that, um, that actually made it, I mean, it worked, so. Now I'm using my six and just going along each arm and it's moving fairly fast, which is always a plus in my opinion. So stay tuned. I will be back. It's so pretty. So pretty! have one more color to go around the perimeter. Eee, I'm so excited! So excited! Moving on to the next one. Look how pretty this red is. Red is gorgeous. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I always get nervous. Worried I'm not going to have enough drills. <laughs> Do you have that problem too? Or is it just me and my weirdness? My, uh, my anxiety, my OCD, I don't know what you want to call it. But my brain goes, oh no, what if you don't have enough? Especially the reds and blues are really hard because there's so many different shades that um, it's really hard to match them up. So that's that's the majority of what I have, like why I have like so many containers with colors in it is because 
the reds and blues are like that much off. Don't quite, aren't quite the same color. But this is actually working out really well using my multi-placer. So it's definitely going quicker, thankfully. Just have to straighten them up a little bit if I don't quite get it lined up right. But for the most, see that one I did really bad. For the most part, it's going down pretty quickly. Two there. Whoops. Four. Whoops. Oh yeah. Hey, when that does that. All right, I'll be back in a bit. Here are the side pieces all done. You can see some of the shimmer there. There. All of the drills are in place. I'm gonna go spray these puppies and then get started on the little baby cars. So, this is what one of the little cars look like purple and turquoise and then the other one will be the darker no three and four it'll be red and this blue so there i'm getting started on the little colors it's actually going really smooth and i love when projects work out quickly and easily but let's hope the assembly process is just as smooth. We can only hope, right? But don't have that much longer to go. The main wheel pieces are in the garage drying from their clear coat. So once I get these done, I will get them sprayed and let them dry and then we will start Assembly. Well, I will start assembling. You will watch. At least I hope you're watching. Stay tuned. This piece gets the long, uh, what do they call these? Isolation columns. So you can see there are two different sizes. So the there are three long ones and they will be attached onto this piece, which is gonna be one of the side supports. So you'll put a screw in there. Um, wait a minute. Yes, so you put a screw there, I believe. That's what it looks like. No, yes, no, yes, no. Now I think I have to wait to put them all together at once. It does show this piece having um, all three of the arms in place, but then the next step, it looks like I have to wait to put all the, the front, the arm and the, the wheel on there first. So hang on, let me look. Everything is dry, so let's see if we can figure out how to put this together. I'm going to go in order of the instruction sheet. So hopefully, whoops, hopefully that will... Hey, come on, fingers. So it shows being on this side, and you use the short... Um, bars. So you will put a screw in and the short bar. I can get my fat hands out of the way. And then you will put a car in place. And I don't think it matters which direction they go because it's going to be, um, once you get it up, then you can decide, I guess, which is your 
front and back. So I'm just going to work on getting these all on and I am going to alternate the purple and blue and the red and blue. So the first one I put on was red. So I'm going to put the purple on next and I'm just going to keep working. And this does just go on with your finger. You don't need the screwdriver at this point. So we have purple, now I need red. There's all the cars in place. Now it mentions putting this. On here. Does this go all the way through? Hmm. All right, let's hope I don't have to take all these little screws out. It does line up pretty easily. <laughs> yeah, okay. Guess we'll be using the screwdriver for this. just because my fingers is too big. <laughs> it's simple, but it's fiddly. So prepare yourself for that. Cat, pay no mind. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> oh, I can't see her. Nope. Ugh. Crazy upside down cat. So you put one of the isolation columns on there, and then you have these three plastic washers that you put, you put three on each side, so three on, is already on the back, I already put it on there, and then you put the three on top like that, and then on goes your other support arm, drop a screw in, and then you will just tighten that down. And then you take the other two isolation columns. And one goes on each side, left and right. That goes like that. And we'll go ahead and do this one over here. And then flip it over. And two more screws. Now I had to hijack the toolkit out of my train because I did not have enough of the short isolation columns or screws for this section. So I'm going to have to send them a message about getting more of these so I will be able to complete the train. Okay, everything looks to be, so I will, whoops. Hello. Oh, too high. Back down you go. Here is our finished little ferris wheel it is so cute and it moves very smooth no hiccups no hitches very cute so the cars 
spin all the way around, which is pretty much what they do on an actual Ferris wheel. So that way you stay level as you go around. And you can see as they come around to this point, it actually works like a real Ferris wheel. Super cute. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do my train. Oh, it makes me sad, but I gotta figure out what I'm missing. So I will see you again very soon. Thanks so much for watching with me. I hope you enjoyed the little fairies room. It actually didn't take very long to do at all. So. I have good news. I was able to put the train together. I went ahead and put it together to see how it worked. And I put one um, stabilization bar is what I'm calling it at the front and one at the top and then did the same back here. So there's one here and one here. So there are supposed to be one here and two here, but it's going to be sturdy enough. It does roll as you can see how stinking cute is that, right? So I, I, I'm good. I still have five screws and this longer piece, which was left over, the longer one was left over from the Ferris wheel. And then I have the battery pack because this one gets lights. So I would just have to figure out, I might just use double-sided sticky dots to adhere the lights onto the train. So let me know if you want to see the same kind of video for this as you saw for the Ferris wheel in the comment section below. I'll see you again very soon. Bye!